We're out here at COSI. Lori Miller has brought two friends with us. Um, and this is a very kind of unique program and partnership that you have going on. Tell me about this. It is. So we are presenting a brand new program, um, which is the Wildlife Rescue Edition. And we're doing this in partnership with the Ohio Wildlife Center. So we are featuring animals that we have acquired from the Wildlife Center and talking about how we got them. Um, and in addition, uh, we are adding the Baby Bunny Program. So we are raising orphan rabbits here at COSI in partnership with the Wildlife Center. Why was it so important for COSI to get involved with the Wildlife Center and shed a light on these animals? That's a great question. So we decided to bring in some more animals, but we wanted to do it in a meaningful way. Um, and being able to partner with uh, members of our community um, to be able to help wildlife, help the Wildlife Center, help our students learn um, how to rehab animals. It was just a win-win-win all around. Now you can't have the bunnies down here because it would actually frighten them? So they, yes, they are very timid creatures. Um, and also we are going to release them back into the wild. And so we want to keep them separate from humans as much as possible. So we only interact with them when we are caring for them. Um, and then we're, they're with us for a couple of weeks and then we get to release them into the wild. But you're able to kind of have a little bit of interaction. Talk to me about that live stream. Yes, so in this presentation, we are able to connect directly to the bunny nursery, um, to the person who's caring for them. And so we have a sort of a live interaction where you can ask the person questions um, and be able to interact with those bunnies lifetime. That's so fun and I love these two. Tell me about these my little owl friend here and our little turtle. Yeah so we have Archie our Archimedes um, and she's clearly with us because she had an injury to her eye. Uh, the Wildlife Center rehabbed her with the intent to release her so owls can survive when they have one eye uh, but unfortunately when she was at the pre-release facility she wasn't able to catch live food which means her injuries were a little bit more extensive than um, were able to be detected in diagnostics. So that's how she ended up here with us um, and she's a great little ambassador bird and we can talk about wildlife and owls and positive interactions we can have with them. And what about my turtle friend here who I feel like is very active right now. <laughs> she she's is. She's kicking me. <laughs> <laughs> that is Bucket and she is our Eastern box turtle and they are from uh, right here in Central Ohio and people love turtles. Yeah. Um, uh, but unfortunately, people love them so much they want to take them home with yeah. them. Um, and they are a listed species, which means there's not very many of them left. And so our messaging is to make sure we leave wildlife wild mm -hmm. here in Ohio um, and to go visit them in our metro parks. You certainly can go yeah. and try and scope them out, but make sure you leave them so that you can go back to that metro park and visit them the next year. It's great messaging. And I've also heard yeah. that if you find a turtle in the road, you should just put it in the direction that it was that it was walking in. Don't yeah. try to take it with you. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So definitely put them in the direction that they're going. Yeah. Um, also really important for our box turtle friends here. Mm -hmm. um, do not put them in water. Yes. So this is a land dwelling <laughs> turtle. Um, she does not swim very well. So definitely just move her to the side, not in water. I love that. That is good. That's valuable information, isn't it? And you can come to Kosai to learn more about these incredible animals and check out that bunny live feed. So yes. cute. Lori, thank you so much. You're so welcome.